one of those things that I like, definitely dread it going into it. And I, like, you know, people are saying, are you excited to like, go into Australia? I was like, no, I'm not because I know that I'm too big to to you first. And I don't really deal with things until they kind of, you know, they come up and they hit me in the face nearly. So I was like, the thought of quarantine was probably a lot worse than it actually was. Whereas when I got into it, I was like, my life had been a bit of a rat race in Ireland. I was before I left, I was teaching, I was doing a lot of driving. I was also trying to train twice a day to keep up with the demand for Collingwood because I was essentially in contract from about November onwards. So I had a lot of work, I suppose, to get through. So when I got to quarantine, I was like, actually, this is really nice. I really enjoyed the time and space to myself where I, I can reflect on what's gone on for the last few months. I can plan from going forward. I can also just enjoy my own space and time and just not be accountable to anyone. I thought that was really nice and it was really refreshing. And as long as you create a routine for yourself, like I remember looking out the window at one point and being like, it's actually crazy that you just adapt to whatever situation you're placed. And I was like, it's literally a distant memory that I can go out into the fresh air. So you just like get caught up in kind of your own world and your own stuff and learn to just change and adapt and I had a good routine really like I suppose exercise my food nutrition all the kind of things and I also had meetings with Colleen Wood quite a bit and um, a lot of education stuff and a lot of vet videos to catch up on as well from when I was back home in Ireland like um, game days and stuff like that so that actually t- took up a few days and other than that then I, I felt like I was busy I don't know how but I did feel like I was busy